plant-based meat versus conventionally raised meat versus grass-fed meat versus regenerative beef. What's the difference? Let's go through all this. So let's start with conventionally raised beef. This is a health food for humans. It is nutrient rich. It does not contain defense chemicals. It is full of all sorts of valuable things for humans. Heme iron, vitamin B12, vitamin K2, choline, vitamin B6, tons of nutrients in conventionally raised beef. The thing that's not ideal about conventionally raised beef is how it's raised. This beef is sometimes fed grass for part of its life, but it is finished for the last few months of its life in a feedlot in clustered conditions where cows are kind of pooping and peeing on each other. It's just kind of dirt underneath where they're standing. It's not grass and they're fed grains. And those grains can often be moldy, full of pesticides. Government allows those grains to contain plastics sometimes. It allows those grains to contain food waste. The feed at the end of this cow's life and how it's living at the end of its life is not ideal. A lot of those things get fixed when you have grass-fed beef. But when you're thinking about grass-fed beef, you have to be very careful with the labeling. This beef says 100% grass-fed, which is cool because sometimes when something is labeled grass-fed, but doesn't say 100% grass-fed, manufacturers can get around things and they can do shady fugazi stuff and just feed grass pellets or feed grass for part of a cow's life, but not 100% of its life. But 100% grass feeding means a cow has to be raised on a pasture and it's fed grass of different types of grass. There can be many types of grass. It's not always grass that's green and growing from the ground. Sometimes it's hay, sometimes it's alfalfa. It's not fed grains, but it's fed types of grass for its whole life. And this says it's organic. So if it's fed hay, that hay has to be organic. So this is definitely a step up from clustered animal feeding operations, conventional beef. This is going to have more nutrients than conventional beef. It's gonna have less of the bad stuff, less pesticides, because it's not fed moldy or pesticide sprayed grains. So this is a step in the right direction. This is pretty good. But really the best type of beef is gonna be 100% grass fed that's regeneratively raised. And you can see on the label here, it says regeneratively raised. What does that mean? That means these cows are eating grass on the land. They're eating grass in a paddock and they're moving between different fields. So they eat the grass down to like a buzz cut level and they poop and they pee on the ground while they're doing that. They're getting green, healthy grass. I've been to these farms guys like White Oak Pastures in Georgia or Joyce Farms. These are very good, idyllic places for cows. The cows are happy, they eat the grass down, and they're moved to a new pasture where the grass is high. And they get to go cow wild and eat all that grass all again. And then they go back to the original field, which has now grown back up. All that soil has had the poop and the pea nutrients in it. The soil microbiome, the mycorrhizal networks in the soil are supported by the nutrients from the cows pooping and peeing there. That's the ecosystem. That's the way it's supposed to happen with cows on field. That's how bison and other antelope and pronghorn and other ruminant animals that eat grass have been living in the Western United States for millions of years before we hunted them to extinction and then turn all those lands into monocrop agriculture farms growing plants, which basically destroys the land and pulls all the nutrients that the bison and other ruminants put on that land, put into that land for millions of years out into the plants, it doesn't go back. That's how regenerative agriculture works. So when you see regeneratively raised on a label, that's going to be the healthiest cows on the healthiest soil best for the environment and the healthiest meat. It's going to have the most nutrients because that grass is on the most nutrient rich soil. And we know that what's in the soil goes in the grass, goes in the cows, making more nutrient rich food for humans. So this type of beef is gonna be carbon negative. There have been life cycle analyses of regenerative farms like White Oak Pastures in Georgia showing that they are carbon negative, meaning they sequester more carbon into the soil than is actually produced in the creation of this beef. The same cannot be said for conventional beef, unfortunately, and that's one of the major arguments that vegans and vegetarians have against beef. But the same can also ironically not be said about plant-based meats. These are carbon positive, carbon negative. So if you look at the prices here, you can see this reflected in the prices. A regeneratively raised ground beef is going to be the most expensive ground beef in the store. I think that's a good investment. I think that investing in the health of the planet, the health of soils, ecosystems, the way that animals are treated and the health of the meat, which results in healthier humans is worth every penny. That's always what I'm going to be buying with my dollars. This is a common mistake that people make, I believe in grocery stores where we are hunting today as humans in 2023 all the time. People come into grocery stores and they wanna get the cheapest food. I think as humans somewhere in our education, we were not taught that our health is more than just getting enough calories. It's getting micronutrient rich food that is free from toxins. And for me, it's very clear that if you invest in the highest quality meat and organs as the center of your diet, you will feel better. You'll have more mental clarity. You'll, you'll have more energy, more libido. You will look better. You will perform better. You'll recover better from your workouts. That's the best investment that I think a human can make 
hands down, hands down. And I think that all of us who are buying junk food, thinking that it's cheaper, it tastes good, but it makes me feel full, that is a Faustian bargain. That is a bargain that is not worth it ever. That's why I would always select a regenerative beef. That's why lineage meat sticks are made with regeneratively raised organs and beef because I want to create companies that are using the best foods on the planet to help you get access to these things. That's why I'm so stoked about what we're doing in Lineage with these regeneratively raised beef sticks, which have heart and liver. There's nothing like it on the planet. So what about this plant-based meat? This is full of kind of virtue signaling and rhetoric, but when you really break it down, the ingredients in here are highly processed. This is an ultra processed food. This is created in a factory and it is carbon positive, carbon negative, carbon positive. So for all of the virtue signaling around this, plant-based meats are clearly less healthy, I would say they're unhealthy, and they're worse for the environment than properly raised, grass-fed, regeneratively raised beef. So if you look at the ingredients on plant-based meats, I mean, we don't even need to look at these, but they're garbage. You have methyl cellulose, you have pea protein, you have less bioavailable proteins, you have seed oils, you have carrageenan, and the fact that it looks like a beef patty is ironic because I think that a lot of people, when they go vegan and vegetarian, they are craving meat. <laughs> And so they're trying to satisfy some kind of an internal craving by eating a plant-based thing that looks like meat. Doesn't do it. Doesn't do it for your body. Doesn't do anything good for the environment. A factory making Beyond Sausage or Beyond Burgers is not good for the environment. Regeneratively raising cows or bison on the land, that is how you create healthier soils and healthier ecosystems. There's no question. The other thing to remember is that over 60% of our calories as Americans come from ultra-processed foods. This is an ultra-processed food. And 84% of vegans and vegetarians return to eating meat, and the majority of those people do so because of the health problems they acquire on a vegan or vegetarian diet. So this is not the solution to your health problems or to our environmental issues, but voting with your dollars and getting more nutrient-rich meat and organs for you and your family, getting something like regeneratively raised meat and organs, that you can make a real argument for a solid solution to many of the issues we have as humans today. So this is why I'm so excited about the increasing availability of regeneratively raised beef. I mean, here in the sprouts, you've got regeneratively raised bison ribeyes from Force of Nature. I mean, look at the color of that fat and that meat. It's so dark because it's so nutrient rich. You've got regeneratively raised ground beef. It's incredibly good steps in the right direction, guys. We vote with our dollars and investing in your health through the quality of your foods, there's no better way to invest. Absolutely not. This is why I'm so excited about what we're doing at Lineage, guys. I would never sacrifice quality because I wanted to make a product that I was proud of, that I could give to my sister and her kids and my parents and my friends and say, I'm proud of this. I'm proud of what we've done. There are no other beef sticks on the market that contain organs. They're also way more nutrient rich. And I feel like it is completely worth it to create beef sticks that are of the highest quality for those of you guys that appreciate that. So it's out there for you so that you can use these beef sticks when you're traveling or if you just want to snack before or after a workout or in the morning when you're getting going. To me, I'm just so proud of creating something that's the highest quality. My intention with everything I do has always been to think outside the box and to create high quality content, to share information, to be curious, to encourage you to be curious. And so in the businesses that I build to help you guys have access to good foods and good nutrients, I would never do anything to compromise the quality. And that's why we're only using regeneratively raised beef and organs and lineage. And there's no bullshit in the ingredients. I'm super excited about that. And I'm excited about continuing to be a part of promoting and supporting the regenerative agriculture movement. Because like I said, that is how we fix so many of the problems facing humans today, chronic health disease and environmental issues that we've created over the last few hundred years. You can find us at lineageprovisions.com. Follow us on socials at lineageprovisions. See you guys in the next video.